Happy Sunday, Faith Box family. I'm here with you on day 28 <clears throat> of the month of worship. And our scripture comes from Acts chapter 16, verses 25 through 26a. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake. You're tired. You've been beaten. You're hungry and are so thirsty your tongue is sticking to the roof, roof of your mouth. On top of all that, you have been wrongfully accused and unfairly thrown into a cave with shackles on your hands and feet. It's cold, musty, dirty, and you are bleeding, cramping, and are so sore you can't find a comfortable position to rest. It's dark, and there is no sign of relief in sight. So what do you do? Sing. And the song sung at midnight shakes the whole world. When it feels like life can't get any harder, sing his praise anyway, and watch what God does with your midnight song. And I kind of want to focus on that last part. <clears throat> sing his praise anyway, and watch what God does with your midnight song. So I wanted to read on a little bit from the verse that we read. And it says... <clears throat> At once, all the prison doors flew open, and everybody's chains came loose. The jailer woke up, and when he saw the prison doors open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, Don't harm yourself. We are all here. The jail jailer called for lights, rushed in, and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. He then brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your whole household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all the others in his house. At that hour of the ninth, the jailer took them and washed their wounds. Then immediately he and all his family were baptized. The jailer brought them into his house and set a meal before them. He was filled with joy because he had come to believe in God, and he and his whole family. So... This shows what came of Paul's um, and Silas's song that they were singing. I'm sure they felt horrible. They probably didn't feel like singing, but they did anyway. And so what I want to encourage you with today is whatever you're going through, you may not feel like singing or praising or worshiping God, but... It can make a huge impact on the people around you. That might be what leads someone to Christ. The way that they see you handling your circumstances and dealing with it with God as your helper. So um, I just wanted to encourage you with that today. I hope it encourages you as much as it did, did me. And I hope you guys have a blessed month.